All right, here we are at the Severnova track. <clears throat> it's at uh, 52 in Hayes, across from the Publix. It's a, um, we're going on a four hour hike. So, there we are. Just uh, just past the campground um, where all the campers are on the left. And they have perimeters, primitive camping on the right. Come through a fork in the road. If you make the right, it goes down towards the power line, so you can take the power line road um, all the way from 52 all the way to um, 54. If you make a left, you go down and you can um, hike all back into the track. And about two and a half miles in, you come across a, a lake, and at the lake there's a chimney from, I'd say 1920-ish, when the homesteaders were here. So, we'll go out there and check it out. Probably our first and only water crossing. Um, usually this is uh, pretty deep. Oh, it's fun up here. And... Yes, yeah, it's, it's been low. I don't have a whole, whole lot of rain out here. So, a little makeshift bridge. Usually all of that's under water. Yeah, it's really low. And out here, this trail is pretty much this um, this road going all the way back around. I had a fire out here a while ago, probably about two years ago, but everything's been growing up nicely. Um, all right, further on down the trail, we come to a reverse fork in the road where it goes left or right, and. This is marker number five on the tree. And you can kind of see that the path is more worn to the left. And that's the way you'll be going. You could go that way, but we're not going that way today. We're going down this road. And you got a random telephone pole from the homesteaders or back in the 70s or whenever they were out here um, had them and today's gear I mean all we're getting all we're carrying is a, um, a hiking pole and we have our little REI 18 um, day pack and the only thing we're carrying in that is a, a three wa three liter water bladder by Osprey um, we're just carrying that to a little bit of weight. We don't need that much water, but but we always have hand sanitizer. And my orange hat, and that's it. And that is Miss Cherie walking down the trail, wear, wearing her hiker trash t-shirt that Joe Reckless on Instagram he sells those he has t-shirts hats and um, 
for all your hiker trash out there. You want to represent, go out there and buy one, two or three. Out here in Florida, we have a wild hog problem. All these trails and side of the trail get uprooted and tore up by them. Looks like they left the main trail alone, just off of the sides. And just about two and a half miles in, you come across the old homestead. You got a chimney up there, all south of the house, and off to the right, you walk up to a lake. And walking away from the lake, you got the, um, the chimney. So last thing standing, this, uh, this fireplace. And walking from the chimney about 50 feet, these trees over here have, or used to have electricity hooked up to them. Let's see. Yeah, that tree had a light. And over there, there's a pole with. There's an old light down on the ground. There's a pole with uh, two outlets on it. Yeah. Over here in the, the brush, get a pole, two outlets. Let's go down to the left. We usually take the fork in the road to the right. We're gonna go down to the left and show you the 
old, I wouldn't really call them shelters, but little, um, pavilions. Yeah, pavilions. That probably Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts have used in the past. And these are just to the right side of the lake. So, if you need to get some shelter during a thunderstorm, these would be the places you would go. And that one actually has a picnic table. And they're both on a concrete pad. Got a fire ring. And this one's got a tree in the middle. We could come out here and camp. Oh yeah. And this one has an outlet, but I don't think it works anymore. Got a picnic table? Uh, perfect for stretching on. Oh yeah. And if it rains, you got a metal roof. And just over there is the lake. And whatever this place was called, it used to probably used to have a sign staged up there and there you go. Just past the pavilions, come out to marker nine. We're gonna make this left and go down, make a right, and we'll go to the what I call this trail's green tunnel. All those are regrowth after the fire. It was probably May of 2017. All regrowing. Still see the char on the on the trees. Probably a good 12 feet up the tree. But all that is regrowth. And this is the Saranova Tract Green Tunnel. That's oh, really dry. That's what 
go walk out there. Yeah, usually the water's flowing under the road and it's just still. Look at those. They're completely up out of the water. The drain. Almost. Yeah. And just past the green tunnel, I'll call this four corners. You can go left, right, or straight, or turn around. This is marker 10 on the pole. And I think today we're going to go to the left. And this is 3.4 miles to here. 3.4 miles from the start, the parking lot. So going this way? we are going this way. All right, down to another fork in the road. Um, the signs tell us to go to the right, so we are going to the right. And this trail is used by um, equestrian horses, hikers, and bicyclists. Share the trail. bend over the trail both ways.
all underwater. Oh, we're at 4.5 turnaround point. All right, we made our time limit. And our halfway point is four and a half miles from where we started. So we're gonna turn around and go back. But first. Hey! Who's that? How are you guys? This has been fun this morning, but I have to work, so we gotta head back. See you in a bit. And today is Friday the 13th, 2019. And this is what we're doing. Yeah, it's been about a year since we've been out this way. Maybe January of this year. We went out there. It takes us right up to the bicycle trail on the Suncoast Parkway. That was a fun day. Quite a few snakes that day. Today is so gorgeous. It's probably in the low 70s. And... It's all overcast, so no hair thing is needed, and no sunglasses, which is amazing. We're at the green tunnel from the other side in a much shorter point of view. All right, we're heading back to the parking lot, but on the way out, we didn't go over the, the camping spots. This is the primitive 
camp spot. Fire rings, plenty of room for car parking on the outside. Then some cars parked on the inside, put up their tents. So from a more primitive spot up the road as you're coming in. There's privy. You have a privy. And next to the privy is a um, place to tie off your horses if you're riding a horse. And the fork in the road, we're going to the left, but if you go to the right, there you have the horse tie off, privy. And up the road you have um, more of the hardcore campers, um, the vans, it's got a pavilion, an RV. it's got an RV, a couple of RVs, and that's the road to get into the RV camping spot. And here is the road leading out. Here comes some horses. This trail is for hiking, horses, mountain biking, cycle cross. It's all done out here. morning. <laughs> Little spot to park a car, um, set up a tent, and go fishing. Put in a canoe or a kayak. And heading up here at marker two, you'll make that right. If you go straight, there's a gate for vehicles, um, RVs that come in. But we're gonna go down. Ooh, it's starting to drizzle a little harder. Yep, we got a little little rain going. And that's the little lake we started at. And this goes to the, the start point, the parking lot. And at the parking lot, when you first walk in, they have the, the marquee, the sign, but they also have a ledger, so please sign in. So you can come here and you can do a self-registration so date your name, your city you come from, numbering, group, activity, and comments. So that way you can make it Sarah Nova Tract Official. Always bring it in, take it out. Please help keep the lands clean. And the ponds, the lakes, no swimming. And dogs must be in a leash at all time and clean their poop up. So here we are. Sarah River Tract, about nine miles, a few hours. And here we are back at the parking lot.
nice big parking lot for plenty of vehicles uh, horse trailers and that is our morning hike we will see you next time